an amazing setting to have for an amusement park. Today we're going to be doing a theme park, what we've wanted to do for so long. It's Six Flags Magic Mountain up here in the mountains, believe it or not. It's going to be really, really good. Yes, myself, Sean Sandbrook, John, Lee and Chris. It's going to be really good. We're going to be hitting up more roller coasters than any other park in the world today. It's going to be great. Absolutely fantastic way to start uh, this trip to Magic Mountain. Look at the scenery. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous when we're on some of the taller rides at this park, like Superman, Goliath, X2, Tatsu. You know, we're going to get some Lex Luthor. We're going to get some amazing views uh, of all of this. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Really looking forward to this one. We've got some great rides, including the new for 2015 Twisted Colossus. It's all of our first Rocky Mountain construction roller coaster, known in the industry as RMCs. So we're really, really excited to see how they feel, uh, these hybrid coasters. It's going to be a really, really good day. So much to see. I mean, look at the views around here. Absolutely gorgeous. I think there's going to be an amazing one to drive into, so I'll get some shots when we're driving into the park. We're just a few minutes away, so it's going to be a really, really good day. Here it is, Six Flags Magic Mountain X2. Look at that. Look at this. This is going to be a fantastic amusement park. Look at that. Fort Park Eat Yard. Oh, oh my God. This is very much like driving into Thor Park and seeing all the rides, you know, but on a lot bigger scale. They're actually going to send us right past X2, something what we've never experienced before. This is going to be absolutely fantastic. It's also going to be a great part for me getting loads of shots for you off ride. So don't worry, throughout this vlog, you're going to see loads of video footage. Look at that, X2. Wow. Oh, Goliath's going. That looks beautiful. What a beast. Right, let's go down to the entrance. Six Flags Magic Mountain here in California. Absolutely fantastic to be here. I mean, look at it. It's like being in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, but in real life, it says I'm just waiting for a big arm to come and grab me and pick me up and chuck me in the water. <laughs> it's gonna be great today. I mean, absolutely look at this. Video really doesn't do this place justice. This is it. Six Flags Magic Mountain, can't wait. We're gonna be getting on the biggest roller coasters any of us have ever done today. It's gonna to be absolutely stunning. Are you all excited? Turn around. Turn, turn, turn oh, around yes. Around you. Turn it around on you. Around? No, turn around on you. Oh, okay. Photo bomb! Hey! <laughs> theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. Check it out, Theme Park Worldwide. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, Six Flags Magic Mountain. Let's go, here we go. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Park's opening Six Flags Magic Mountain! Woo. Are you excited? Can't wait. Say hi, Six Flags man. There we go, let's have a good day. So we are now season pass holders for Six Flags Magic Mountain. How does it feel, Chris? I can't believe it. It's like a dream come true. He's even done his hair specially today. Look at that. Yeah, it's the nicest hair has looked all trip. Hey. You know, he's put an effort on today with six flags. <laughs> How many flags? Six. six. Right, flash let's go in there, uh, feel some flash pass. As you can see, it's very, very busy today. There we go. Look at this. Chris is in his element now, he's got his Tamagotchi. $150 we've just forked out. Each. Each. But we're going to have an amazing day, we're going to get a lot of riding, there's loads of different options you can do. We've done Platinum, which reduces your wait time by pretty much everything, 90%. Well, uh, you know, we're going to have one minute until X2, bear in mind it's going to be a busy day, so. 
Gonna be straight on first ride, gonna be X2, are you excited? Oh yes. X2, our first 40 oh, coaster, this is gonna be absolutely fantastic. Oh, which way do we go? There we go. Here we go, X2. Right, here we go. Sounds good to me. I mean, obviously you've never seen this system, it's exactly the same really as Speedy Pass, isn't it? At yeah. Blackpool Pleasure Beach, for any of you that are uh, regulars there. You reserve your wait time, then it gives you a time to get to your ride, then you get pretty much straight on. Um, like I say, three different options to do. We've gone for the top, obviously, of course we do. We don't think we do things by half on Theme Park Worldwide. Please. So uh, let's go and give it a go. Park so far, first impressions, really nice. I'm glad it's it quite like built up. Park. It does feel like a theme park, you know, it's really, really nice. I mean, look at all the areas. Look at this, it's going to be really good. Right, first ride X2. From, we'll um, let you know when we uh, come off. It's going to be good. Look at the views from this park. Already skipping a 45 minute wait on the flash pass. See you later, riders. Boom, 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 boom. I am loving Six Flags Magic Mountain already. It's a dream to be here, it really is. I've wanted to come here for so many years, it's going to be great. Look at this. Oh, I know, look at this, absolutely beautiful. X2. Is everybody in? Insane. Definitely the best coast of the trip so far. You're number one. Yeah. You're number Sorry, one coast of, of all. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Sensational. That was really good. So obviously that ride there, the seats spin as you're going round. Um, Aerodynamics roller coaster, rebranded from X to X2, repainted. Uh, effects are added on board audio. And what an amazing coast that is. The views as you're going up that lift hill. Absolutely fantastic roller coaster. It's definitely the most unique roller coaster I've ever been on. Negative to that ride, leg basher. And it's a bit of a leg basher, but apart from that, it's, it's good. Yeah, but it's a lot smoother than anticipated. Definitely, you know, it's a very good coaster. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, definitely the best ride of this trip so far. Uh, probably the best ride of the year for me so far. That one, Chris. The emotions is what Chris. <laughs> it's a shame you can't see on ride, but you know, how, how was it? Incredible. It didn't feel real good at that lift hill. That view off the lift hill is it's very, very special. The view, it's, the audio is really loud and we've already saved a 45 minute yeah, wait, so good. really good. Is it a top coaster for any of you guys yeah, it's or a not? Top coaster. The best coaster you've ever ridden? Yeah. Lee? So, um, it's, not, it's, it's up there. I don't know. If it's for me, it's up there, but it didn't have the wow factor. It had a wow factor. We didn't have the, oh my God, that was amazing, which I get on Helix and Shambhala, you know. So it was a very, 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 very good ride. And definitely the most unique roller coaster I've ever ridden. Uh, X2, Six Flags Magic Mountain. I can't believe we've just done that. I really can't. X2, right, next ride, Viper. Here we go. This is going to be good. Next ride, Viper. 
Now this is a ride that's so famous, it's been in so many coaster magazines, so many books, TV shows, you name it, it's been on it. So let's go and have a little look at uh, Viper. The greatest coasters ever built. We've only ridden one so far, but it's definitely looking like to be that way. I mean, we've got some great stuff, X2, full throttle, something I'm really excited for. Uh, Superman Escape from Krypton, Tatsu, Goliath. So many rides at this park, and we're about to head on our next one. Viper. It is Viper, and I'm really looking forward to this one. Nice classic Green Lantern first flight. I do love them type of coaches, they're really quite good fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing this one. All right, let's go. Viper. <laughs> Bit of a hair banger. Nice views though, look at this. Here we go. All on time. Back over you. Just come off Viper from Aerodynamics, how was that? Awful. It was alright, it was a bit painful. Very, very good. The restraints were I don't think it was as rough as some of the stuff that I have ridden. I mean, I found it to be quite smooth, to be honest. It wasn't like old courts crew back when that was operating. Was that was a good laugh, though. Was yeah, good. it was enjoyable. It was big, it like Chris was saying, just, you know, American coasters are huge. Yeah. What was yeah, that, John? It's awful, this uh, I don't. I don't, oh, like I don't like how the I don't like the weird round. The restraints do get tighter as you go round. Yeah, I've waited since '96 to ride that. It was really good. I, I, I did enjoy it. I must admit, it's one of the better hour coasts I've done. Nothing on X2, obviously, but it was still a very good, nice classic ride to get in. Right, next up, we're going for a nice B&M, a B&M flying coaster known as Tatsu. Now, as you all know. I don't like flying coasters at all. That isn't due to the layout of them, it's due to the restraints. I'm not a big fan of them. I like being open and free on a coaster. I think that's why I love Matt Mega Coasters as much as I do. But Tatsu is one that I am looking forward to giving a ride. Apparently the pretzel is absolutely insane, ridiculously intense. I've done air, obviously, the original Alton Towers. Uh, you saw her in the vlog last year, did Manta uh, at SeaWorld Orlando. Lee Wood, everybody, vlog bomb. Not as bad as that guy this morning, you know. <laughs> uh, so I'm really looking forward to giving Tatsu a go. Uh, I don't think I'll race it in what any of my top coasters here, and that is because of the restraints, but I'm sure these guys will be able to give it a better review than I can uh, with Tatsu. So, uh, yeah. Hold on for It's big, I know that. It's a big B&M beauty. We're getting so many B&Ms today. You know how much I love B&Ms. B&M and Mac, my favourite manufacturers, and we're definitely getting lots of new B&M threads today. Some B&M's, some ice cream and some water. Oh, what more ride. could he want in life? There we go.
we've just had a ride on the rapids and also Tatsu. Uh, we'll start off with our review of Tatsu. Chris Franklin. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, BM flying coaster. It was fantastic. Pretzel loop. Some people don't like him in the group. To be honest, I'm the only one who does like it, but don't tell anyone. Um, John? What? Tatsu. I would still. There's more revival than that. Agreed. But it's, but it's good. Lee? Oh, he's just having a good suck. Hang on. Hello. What do you think of Tatsu? Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah. You want pretzel loop? It was a bit thingy. Pretzel loop was way too much. It's the worst roller coaster ever in all trip because I don't like flying coasters, but I told you that before we get on. Some of you are going to comment on this vlog and say, Sean, are you insane for not enjoying it? But no, I don't really like flying coasters, and that was way, the pretzel loop was way too intense. But again, not a nice pretzel intense. That's fine. Oh, Give it a pretzel loop, throw three quarters, something else in there. That's fine. Exactly. It's not actually. That, that intense, the rest of it. I mean, it's less intense than the other flies that I've done, both Air and Manta. But the pretzel loop, it all comes from nowhere. You know, you're going round really nice, flying round on this beauty, you know, looking at all the views, and then suddenly, oh, you're whacked with that. You know, I love the pretzel loop. I'm going to give it five out of ten. I appreciate all the people that do really enjoy it. If I enjoyed flying coasters, then I think I'd enjoy it a lot more than I did. But no, it was definitely, uh, you know, the worst coaster. Uh, of the trip, definitely of today. Uh, anyway, Viper and X2. I mean, X2 is in its own category, isn't it? X2 is absolutely fantastic. But uh, yeah, out of ten for Tatsu for Lee. Eight. Eight. Tatsu. Six. Six. So we know uh, ten. Chris of ten. Yeah. So uh, it was good. Anyway, Rapids, which we've also done, was an absolute soaker. It wasn't the longest Rapids. It wasn't the fastest Rapids. It wasn't the best theme Rapids. But it had a but KFC mega wave. It had a massive KFC mega wave. <laughs> Can't be a KFC because there's not a KFC here like we're at Alton Towers. But it was very wet. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He's absolutely soaked. And look how dry Lee is. Uh, Lee did all right there. Oh, Lee I give would. that ride 10 out of 10 for the dry air. Like rapids yeah, it was, was really good. Not one of the best that I've done, but it was a good Rapids as well. Um, you know, so we've done uh, two really, really good rides, both X2 and Viper. Uh, you know, two rides that we've had very mixed opinions on, uh, Tatsu and the Rapids. But now time for Apocalypse, uh, which is the big wooden coaster at the back. Is that, it's been in that much sun, but it's actually turned white. There we go, looking forward to that. Is that that or paint work? I'm sure we'll be able to tell when we get a bit closer. Looking forward to trying this one out. Ninja is going to be amazing. I love Vampire. I don't. I suppose you didn't do Vampire, did you? I didn't do the original, original car. Look at this. Let's just ask these guys if they did uh, Vampire, actually. Did you do Vampire at Chessington when it had the back cars or not? Uh, no. Oh, there you go, yeah, gonna be in street. I had one ride on it when I was a kid. Can't remember anything about it, but I've always wanted to come out here to Magic Mountain and ride Ninja to see what it's like. So we'll be doing that very, very soon. First off there, let's go and ride some wood. Mr. Lee Wood likes riding wood, as we all know. So let's go and have a closer look at this uh, wooden beauty. Not really done many woodies yet on this trip, but Balmont Woody was great last night. Check out the vlog from Balmont. Uh, yeah, 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 Balmont was great. Let's go and have a look at this. Just saying as we're coming in on this, there's some really good theming about it. I mean, look at this truck, that's really good. Look at this, you know, it's a really well themed ride. I would more class this towards the theme park side than the amusement park side. Oh, that's a nice light in here. This is really nice. It's got a story. A woody with a story. It's quite rare. It's all the ride. Ladies and gentlemen. This is great. I was not expecting this. I've seen none of this before coming today. Wow. is a really impressive queue. One of the most impressive queues I've seen all trip. You know, which is surprising. I wasn't expecting that on Magic Mountain.
amazing theme queue line and it has an amazing ride. That was really, really good. Absolutely loved Apocalypse. Uh, one of my favourite wooden coasters, my second favourite ride of the day here, just after X2. Uh, I think that was really good. Some fire around the ride as well. It was a Sean ride because it's got fire. It's a Dean ride because it's got fire, but Dean's not here. What a big shout out to Dean. I enjoyed that fire hi, for you. Uh, hi, Dean. Say hi to Dean. Hello. Hey, up, Dean. Mr. Adidas, he's got the bag on you anyway. We're still, that's the only piece of Adidas stuff we've got on us today, yeah. is it? No. Oh, oh Lee. Oh, You're Mr. No. Adidas for this vlog. How are you, Adidas? Good. Well, I'm, uh, I'm good, I'm enjoying this. No Valhalla, you know Valhalla. There we go, that was really good. Chris, what do you think, Apocalypse the Ride? Very, very good. Very fast, well paced. Very well Not paced. Not loads of air time. It was nice, it was like Woden. Not a lot of air time, a little bit. But it was very, very fast. Some really good banking on that. Very, we all yeah. like a good bank, don't we? I mean, that was absolutely fantastic. I'll tell you what, something I'm going to point out at Six Flags, gets a lot of flag for its operations. It's so fast. Q-wise, it moves slow, but it's, when stuff goes down for maintenance, it's very clearly up. At least there is, off. yeah, there's a big sign at the front, which is still a shot of, and also, uh, you know, she's announcing it to the queue, saying it is going to be longer than normal. So it is obviously better to get a credit than have it closed. <laughs> Revolution. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it's very good that, you know, they are actually still running it. Apocalypse the Ride, a very good woody. One of my favourite wooden coasters. With that, it'll take a few more goes to decide where it will sit in terms of my yeah. woodies. Um, but it was a very, very good wooden ride. I look forward to doing that again. Next up, yes, another coaster. This place is full. More roller coasters here than any other park in the world. What's up next, Chris? Riddler's Revenge. Riddler's Revenge, a B&M stand-up stand -up coaster. We've only ever done Shockwave. What did I need to say, Apocalypse? Apocalypse, oh, I wish we did have that here, but we have got Lex Luthor in a bit, so that I'm sure that would be good. Oh, toilet. I don't think we want to go in there, do you? Um, you know, so it's, it's going to be really good to uh, get on Riddlers. I've heard a lot about Riddlers, I'm sure it's going to be great. There's not that many stand ups. Theme Bar Worldwide on YouTube. He was waving. Uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, Riddlers giving it a go. Let's go and check it out. Love my B&M coasters and it's great to be getting on a new one. Loads of new B&Ms to be getting on here, which is great. Nice, unique stand-up coaster. Very, I like the uh, colour scheme on this. Yeah, I do. Thing is, again, obviously we've all done Shockwave, you know, at Drayton Manor, but this is on a lot bigger scale. Riddler's Revenge doesn't seem that busy around here, does it? A lot quieter in this end of the park. You ready? All right, let's go, flash pass. Really worth getting this, especially on a really busy day like today. All right, let's give it a go. Here we go, let's show you right here under, there's the bet. Step as you exit to your left. Yeah, Riddlers, really, really good BM. Enjoyed that a hell of a lot. A lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Obviously, only ever doing shockwave. You know, you can't really have anything to compare it to. Um, you know, so that was really good. Obviously the best stand-up that I've done so far. I'm sure it is for you guys. Anyone's best stand-up so far. Yeah, that was really good. You enjoy that. Top BMs actually. Yeah, really good BM, some really good force, the loop's incredible. Like Chris just 
just uh, one of the best coasters on the trip. It's very big scale, you don't realise actually, before we came, I didn't realise it was quite that big, I knew it was going to be a big ride, but... At least you didn't expect to be that big. You know, yeah, yeah, that's always the loop. Really, really good ride. <laughs> and people say Six Flags has no theming. Some really good stuff, I mean the station's nice, all this exterior, you know, some really good stuff and obviously it's a lot better landscape than you'd expect as well, with how hot it is, there's quite a lot of greenery, yeah. you know, it's really, really nice landscape part. Really enjoying Six Flags, definitely lived up to what we was expecting, if not surpassed it, I mean it's a really, really nice part with some fantastic coasters. It's surpassed it for operations for us, mate, as well. Yeah, operations isn't as bad as people, you know, made out to be. I mean, that there, we didn't hardly stack on the brake run, it's on two train service, you know, uh, so it's really good. Any of you sat out there, have only ever done UK parks, this is a must-do trip. If you can afford to come and do California over Orlando, I definitely recommend it. If you want more tamer rise and more experienced rise, then maybe Orlando's for you. If you want roller coasters, uh, along with a combination of great theme rides, um, you know, then this, this is great. These are coasters that really push you. They it's are, nice. you know. I mean, some really good stuff. These are the biggest rides we've ever done. Uh, you Probably know, the biggest rides we ever will do, apart from Cedar Point. Well. Well, that, that's the thing, it's here and Cedar Point, which are the two, like, I know there's a lot of other ones, but the two massive players out here in America anyway. You know, definitely really good Riddler's, enjoyed that. I'm gonna give it 9 out of 10 for Riddler's Revenge. It seems so weird to be filming a vlog and saying the names of rides that I've wanted to ride for so long. You hear all the time people say, oh yeah, Riddler's Revenge, you know, we're on these American coaster programs and stuff. Yeah. And you think one day I'll actually go and ride Riddler's Revenge. And we just have, and I felt that about a lot of the rides. You enjoy that, Lee? Yeah, just a bit. You find it a bit, a bit of a head basher, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't personally, but I can see why someone would, you know. Uh, you know, definitely. It's, it's Dumbo, yeah. Dumbo, you're Dumbo, right, Dumbo. Yeah. Talking of which, when we're back at Disneyland tomorrow, we'll go on for one Dumbo, so we'll get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we're going to have a little break, have some food, then we'll get straight back into some coaster riding. Hardcore theme park worldwide style. How was your food? What did you have? Uh, meatball marina. I can tell it's all over his face. Look oh. at that. Uh, there you go. You have to watch me back now. Well, we had some. Well, you had a burger. Yep. How was your burger? Big. A nice big juicy American burger. And I had the and famous the chicken strips. The what? Cockerel. Cockerel? What? Hey? Chicken. <laughs> chicken strips which were apparently famous, but they weren't famous, but they were very nice, so I did enjoy that. Six Flags, in first impressions I really sure. Very, very good. Just as I was expecting, a fantastic part. The scale of it's absolutely huge. I think we've done as many rides as we have, and we've still got a lot more coasters to do. We're not even halfway there with coasters, then it's very impressive. What about you? Yeah, really, well, I've wanted to do this for years, and I've said I'll be coming straight back. Oh, very good. We're still going to be here two more days on the trip, which is great. John? Well, I've done half the coasters I'm anticipated, so I've done the next two now, I need to get Colossus and Goliath. Goliath, everybody. Hey, Goliath. Uh, Lee? Oh, still munching. He's a grown man, he's a grown boy, he needs his food. Mr. Potato Red. Oh. X2 is the highlight for me. Is that all saying? X2 is, is, you know, by far the highlight so far. Twisted Colossus. I think Twisted Colossus is going to be absolutely stunning. I can't wait to do the first oh, RMC. We're going to go and do a uh, classic now. Yeah, the Gold Rusher. I've actually just had a quick ride on it because just mention about the food for queue. And if you, you know, there's quite a big queue for food here, especially at this outlet that we've tried. There ones it was. There one. How long we waited? About 25 minutes. I mean, we waited about 10. So I did go and have a bonus ride on the Gold Rusher. Yeah, uh, which was food. the Gold Rusher was okay. Uh, but I'll give you a full review after about a second go with these guys. So, Gold Rusher, let's go. No rerun. Just come off the gold rusher then. 
How uh, was it, Chris? Aldi Ablo, can lift it all the ride. It was actually worse than Aldi Ablo. If you don't know what Aldi Ablo is, I it's at Paul Aventura. I do appreciate the historic side oh, of that, though. Well, it was very nice to do it. And it's not the most thrilling ride. It's a good family coaster. Yeah, it's, it's got a bit of history, oh, history behind it. It's so most, we, we do it yeah. a lot of this trip, actually. Yeah, it, it was all right, wasn't it? It wasn't anything spectacular at all. Yeah. It was worse than Aldi Ablo. You know my thoughts on Aldi Ablo. Summit, As expected, though. Here you go, Summit Island Summit. Be nice if they did have a few flat rides here, but it is very coaster heavy. But you know, very, very, very coaster heavy. More coaster heavy than any other park. But it's worth it. Lots of hills. It's a Yolo coaster. Look at this. Can't out wait for full throttle. It's going to be fantastic, isn't it? Look. We're heading up to now Superman. I thought Alton Towers' hills were steep. Yeah. This is steep. We're going up to Superman now, so we'll see what there. Really nice theming. Theme Bar Worldwide on YouTube, check it out. Whee. There you go. Time to ride, as Chris just said. It's always coaster of our lives. Yeah, so far anyway, look at that. The world's first 100 mile an hour coaster. I remember watching so many documentaries about watching this beam belt. Obviously since then it's had a repaint, there's been updates to it. You now backwards. go backwards. <laughs> so it's gonna be great to do it. It would have been really nice to do the original, but I don't think we're doing bad being here to ride this one, to be honest. I mean, Superman Escape from Krypton. It's gonna be really, really good. Now it's also got the drop tower on the side. It's gonna be really, really good. That again, we've got pretty much straight on with our passes, which is good. And I think the engine is around this way. There we go, flash pass. Theme is nice, right, let's get on. We'll give you our review of Superman Escape from Krypton when we come off. Oh my God, Superman escaping Krypton. That was absolutely incredible. Definitely a top 10 coaster for me. It could rate even higher and be up there in the top five. That is the best coaster of the trip, the best coaster I've ridden in several years. How about you, Griff? Fantastic. Absolutely awesome. Insane. 12 out of 10, absolutely love that. The, you feel the G's, don't you, on your face yeah. on that? Oh, come back wow. Back. How was that? Yeah. yeah look, How was that, Lee? Huh? Let's see your face. Let's put it back in line. Stretchy. Did you enjoy it, Lee? Yeah, amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> the whole that enjoy. was really, really good. That was very, 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 very good coaster. So it's been ages since I've been properly wowed by a coaster. And that has just, uh, you know, really done that. I absolutely love that. Absolutely stunning. Time for our next coaster then, it's Green Lantern first flight. First one of these, Chris? Yep. I've only ever done the one, so I'm looking forward to doing this again. You do the Death Grade one, is that right? Yeah, Tower Mitsuka, yeah, yeah, I've been on that one, yeah. Nice. Right. I'll tell you what Six Flags does offer a while for people don't realise, oh, I certainly didn't know. Single rider lines available today. Have we seen that on a fair few attractions? Yeah, probably about four or five, haven't we? You know, it's yeah. just really good, really, really good. That's major attractions as well, so you can come here and really like most of it. Right, let's get on. Green Lantern first flight. You looking forward to this, John? It's interesting, this one. They are very interesting. The one at Tower Mitsuka is pretty much the same, I think. If that would have problems, we could. Let's go.
forceful on that, I think. I think it was good. It was better than the one uh, that I've done before. So, Chris, it was. I've never seen someone look so scared on a ride. I was watching him all the way around. Well, he did. Well, he looked scared. Yeah. I wasn't sure what to expect. It really throws you forward in your seat quite a bit more than I was expecting. It'd be nice with lap bars, wouldn't it? It's yeah, it'd be much better with lap bars. I really enjoy the force on that. It's like a. What can I describe someone who's not done one? Imagine a magic carpet. The feeling on a magic carpet when you come round to the bottom when you're on full rotation. That's how it feels for about 25 seconds on Green Lantern. Lee? It was different. It's not very enjoyable. I thought it snapped my neck. <laughs> well, that's what from the ride is. <laughs> no, I can see why someone wouldn't enjoy that. Me personally, I'm going to give it a good 8 out of 10. Chris? Probably about 7 or 8, yeah. 7. Weakest coast of me. 8. Apart, apart from... 8, Lee. How many out of 10? 6. Six. Oh, a low review from Lee Wood. Email him and ask him why. Why? Because I'm really snapped by that. <laughs> Next up, though, we're going on a nice quality, uh, quality B&M inverted coaster now known as Batman, Batman the Ride. In America, they whack the ride on the end of most things. So let's go on Batman Tatsu. the Ride. Tatsu. The Ride. Come on. The Ride. Short Amber. The Ride. Everybody wants that. Let's go. <laughs> Really like the colour scheme on uh, Batman. Me too. Really, really nice. Some more theming obviously would be nice. I don't think it's going to be a nemesis, but we're not going on expecting that. We're just expecting a nice inverse. The building looks quite nice over there, then. Car park the ride, you know. Oh, car park the ride. Scream. Yes. Just been repainted for this year, but they're still. Didn't want to do anything with the car park underneath, so I'm looking forward to car park the ride. Only here at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Still feels weird to be saying that in a vlog. Flash pass. Bananas. We got sat nav behind us. Yeah. You know what? It's great to be here. I like the theming around here now. All the rusty fences and really, really fits with Gotham City. Hey. There we go, let's get inside. The building looks good. Discover.com slash six flag. Batman the Ride, uh, a good inverted coaster. Not one of my favourites. It's not up there with Nemesis. It's not up there with Montu. It's not up there with Osiris. It's not as good as Silver Bullet. But it was still uh, a good inverted coaster. Very For me, it was it was a bit of a Nemesis Inferno. More forceful than Nemesis Inferno. Uh, but the layout reminded me of that. I wasn't that keen on the layout, really. Uh, but it, it was good. I did enjoy it. Chris? I really enjoyed it. I wouldn't want to try backwards, I don't think. Yeah, obviously another Six Flags Park. Do it, uh, is it backwards, doesn't it? You know, so it's hopefully very, that won't come. It's very, very quick. Going around the corners, through the inversions. It's quite snappy as well. It's very, very good. But, no, it's not top invert, but it's a very good invert. Some nice theming as well in the area. It's definitely a theme park more than an amusement park. John, how is Batman the ride? Good ride, could be like that quite a few times. Yeah, it's very re-rideable. And with this, we can do double rides. Some good classic fairground rides here as well. Try this. Some good classic fairground. But we are now going for... Lee, how is Batman? All right, I quite enjoyed that actually. Yeah. It's really good, really fast. Very fast. Time for something a little bit scarier now, especially if you don't like heights. Lex Luthor drop of doom. This is the tallest drop tower that we've ever done, along with the tallest coaster. It's actually fastened to the tallest coaster we've ever done, Superman. Lex Luthor drop of doom. It doesn't go up to there. It doesn't go up to there. It doesn't go up to there. It goes right up to there. So it's going to be really good. I think this is going to be one of the best rides we've ever done. Uh, it looks absolutely stunning. Lex Luthor Drop of Doom, here we go. Followed by Yes, Scream. again, we will, yeah, Scream as and well. And then we will be doing the big one, uh, AKA. Uh, Twisted Colossus. Twisted. 
colossal. And Goliath as well. So many big rides here to get in. We've done loads, we've still got a lot to go, uh, along with some of the junior credits as well. So let's go, Lex, do the drop of doom. I'm lost for words and not really in a good way. Um, Lex Luther, no, that that wasn't great. It was tall, amazing views, but no, there was no force at all. Right now, very uh, overhyped, Wait, disappointed. Yeah, I'm very disappointed with that. I was expecting that to be a lot more. <laughs> Here's John. How was that for you, John? I think the height was just more intimidating than the drop. It, there was no force on that. Apocalypse is yeah. five, ten times better than that. And look at the height of it. It just shows height, really. You know. I was still, you know, yeah. very enjoyable. How was that, Chris? I really enjoyed it. I really it's enjoyed fun. it. I've got a new name for it. I'm going to call it Six Flags Observation Tower. So there you go. <laughs> the big one has its monorail. Six Flags now has an observation tower. Hey, it does actually have an observation tower. Does it? Yeah, Sky Tower. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not a proper one, though. I was going to say I'd go on that. There we go. I'll Thanks tell you what. Again. No, you're all right. Thank but you. luckily, this is just vibrating for Scream B&M. For the lawless coaster, are you looking forward to it? I can't wait, another course. Another ride. The first was back in June. Yeah, oh right. yeah, yeah, when we were at um, Tivoli Gardens when we went on Dan and Check out the vlog. Check out the vlog, oh, upsell, upsell, upsell. But yeah, on it, it was good, really nice views, but no. No, we've got. It was a bit overhyped, that. Best bit is now we've got Scream, Goliath, Twisted Colossus, and Full Throttle. I can I just make yeah. out a point that. Steampunk District, they've actually done a themed area. This just shows Six Flags are really pushing. pushing. I mean, look at the theming around here. Obviously, home to uh, Twisted Class as well, Wood Meets Steel. Uh, look at this, you know, they've actually tried with a themed area. I didn't actually realize any of this was here. And then about you, Chris? Our new basics on it. Look at Goliath Station. This is a theme park. There's some better theming here than there is at a lot of parts that we've done before. It's great. But well, no, Lex Luthor, no, I wasn't feeling that at all. The force, you know, you can feel it was fast, but there was no force. Maybe it was a bit too fast for force, actually. Um, yeah, it was definitely very, very quick. It was oh, very, so very I'll quick. I'll definitely do it again. I definitely really enjoyed it. Yeah, uh, just not Condor. something, it's nothing to rush out for. Hurricane Condor is like the bigger road. Amazing compared to that. Really surprised. That's my biggest surprise of the trip, actually. How much of a letdown Lex Luthor was. Right However, that was passing right to it is one of my favourite rides. 